Next category, you have the two kinds of acknowledgements. Cumulative acknowledgement. and independent acknowledgement okay so this is the second category of acknowledgements in this cumulative acknowledgement and in independent acknowledgements so let us understand first what actually the independent acknowledgement in this case suppose source is sending first packet second packet third packet for sending the packets in this manner then it need to be give the acknowledgement for all these packets means for every packet one individual acknowledgement it have to be give suppose this is the acknowledgement for one and this is the acknowledgement for two and this is the acknowledgement for three okay so like this it have to be give the acknowledgement for each packet individually so that's why we are calling this one as independent acknowledgement in case of independent acknowledgement for each packet we are going to give one acknowledgement but in case of cumulative acknowledgement in case of cumulative acknowledgement suppose you transmitted 10 packets okay means in a particular unit of time so at the destination site for every unit of time whatever packets it will receive for all these packets all together it will give only one acknowledgement ok so this single acknowledgement means it received the all the packets if didn't received any packet it will give negative acknowledgement on the same line it will give negative acknowledgement same case here also suppose this second packet not received properly means packet is corrupted in that case it is going to give negative acknowledgement ok so that is the case here so cumulative in the sense group for the group of packets it is going to give single acknowledgement single acknowledgement it is going to give so here one thing we have to observe that after every unit of time it is going to give the acknowledgement after every unit of time means suppose if you take 10 minutes in that 10 minutes if it is received 100 packets for those 100 packets it is going to give acknowledgement or in that 10 minutes it may receive one packet for that one packet also it is going to give acknowledgement but in particular in some cases <coughs> in some cases for every unit of packets unit amount of packets this means for every 50 packets suppose it is going to give the acknowledgement means that 50 packets in one situation it may receive in within 5 minutes in one situation it may take 2 hours 3 hours so that depends but whenever 50 packets it will receive it will give it is going to give one acknowledgement for those 50 packets ok so this is about cumulative and this is independent acknowledgement so in this case if you see the advantages and disadvantages of these two together in case of traffic okay, in case of traffic if you see we are giving suppose you transmitted 10 packets you are going to give single acknowledgement and here in this case suppose you transmitted 10 packets you are going to give 10 acknowledgements so 10 packets 10 acknowledgements 10 data packets 10 acknowledgements 20 packets altogether here 10 data packets on single acknowledgement 11 packets here so means half of the packets is reduced in this case means network traffic in this cumulative acknowledgement is low right so this is obviously high but if you consider next one reliability case reliability case cumulative acknowledgement is obviously low and this is high because you are getting 
acknowledgement for each individual packet so that you came to know that what happened to every packet you you are able to know that uh, status of every packet but in this case it's not possible okay so that's why reliability in case of independent acknowledgement is high and reliability in case of cumulative acknowledgement is 